so welcome back to another video right so uh, in today's uh, video we will be covering one of the most uh, used features of stolo that is the strategy builder right so uh, before we start i just want to introduce myself my name is jai and i am part of team stolo right and on uh, popular demand on the strategy builder we have actually um, planned out the entire video so that it can benefit uh, all our users right so this would be a, a product demo video as well as a strategy uh, video as well right so uh, i quickly come to the agenda of the video where we uh, are actually going to cover before we uh, even start on the uh, strategy builder demo part we would try and understand why do we even require a strategy builder in the first place right and uh, as soon as we understand why we require a strategy builder we shall go to uh, the strategy builder itself on solo which you would be seeing on my screen uh, right here and after that as a bonus we would be uh, also uh, going through one of the most uh, popular strategies which will come uh, towards the end of the video right so uh, would love for all of you to stay tuned until the end and we will cover uh, that specific strategy uh, using the strategy builder and understanding how we can actually uh, profit using these strategies right so yes uh, welcome back to another uh, video on uh, stolo and we shall quickly start with why do we require a strategy builder right so uh, coming to that why we exactly uh, require the strategy builder is one so one uh, the whole idea of a strategy builder is for risk management right uh, before so let's say you are uh, you have opened your nifty charts for example let's take nifty here you've opened your charts you've done your price action analysis you've uh, implemented different indicators you and you have a certain view on nifty now right and then later you come to the option chain data you come to oi data you come to uh, volume data and you have uh, performed a view that okay this is uh, my view on today's uh, nifty charts is very bullish after you have done your complete analysis right so the different analysis uh, as well you can see uh, throughout stolo here we have almost uh, 30 plus charts uh, and analysis here right so this you can uh, surely go through and we have made a lot of videos on them as well so you can make sure to check it out right so uh, coming back you have done your analysis and now you are ready to take a trade right so now comes the risk management part so our strategy builder basically helps you understand the max profit the max loss you will uh, incur, the break-even price, for example, where uh, the Nifty levels have to head towards in order for you to uh, break even and start making money, the risk to reward ratio, right? So that is one of the uh, biggest uh, stats that the strategy builder gives, right? And uh, the payoff graph, which is actually an interactive uh, graph, which we shall uh, come to, right? So this here, what you see is the interactive payoff graph, right? So that uh, actually helps you understand your PNL according to the date, uh, expiry date or uh, days before expiry, as well as uh, levels, right? So levels is nothing but, for example, Nifty at 18,600, 19,600. At that specific level and date, you would understand how much profit or loss you can make, right? So uh, that that is uh, two of the most uh, biggest benefits of a strategy builder and also coming to uh, the strategy um, builder in terms of uh, not only user created uh, strategies but also we have almost uh, 20 plus uh, pre-built strategies right which is uh, based on market conditions such as here bullish we have bearish we have neutral and we have others as well right so uh, coming to even bearish we have uh, straight uh, pre-built strategies such as a sell call right uh, so that is one more uh, benefits of using the strategy builder and not only that uh, you would also uh, be able to make your custom strategies right so uh, this i will show you uh, in another minute or so coming uh, to the why we actually want to use a strategy builder these are the four main um, uh, important uh, features you have to understand right so let's quickly come to the strategy builder itself and try and understand how to use it right so uh, coming to the strategy builder you can directly uh, go to analysis and click on strategy builder and uh, this screen here would open or else you can go to uh, instrument overview directly 
where uh, you would get all your market analysis for which uh, you can conduct your own studies and then uh, once you have made a bias on the market you can come to the strategy builder which is on the right uh, end here and you can uh, build your strategy right so for example let's take a simple strategy so i've selected uh, nifty here and so anything uh, on nifty the strike prices everything would be on nifty right so i'll quickly uh, select one pre-built strategy as an example to explain the entire uh, strategy builder right so i click on buy call here and you can see how the payoff chart changed right so uh, coming to the strategy itself you can uh, save this so i have saved this as you can save it as a new strategy or you can save it as an existing strategy right and the third option is load save strategies where you can actually load uh, any strategy you have created right so if the expiry date for that strategy is done obviously you would not be able to load it right so for example here let's say uh, i've clicked on buy call let me just save it as a new strategy right so i'll save it as um, nifty nifty bullish bias strategy right so yes so i can save this strategy right so now whenever if you can so you can save uh, this way you can save a ton of strategies where you can use it for different market conditions or different uh, strategies you are using on the market itself right so once you have saved here if you want to um, so here by call it's direct 19800 that is at the money right so at the money call option uh, which has been directly chosen so you can choose to uh, add uh, another call option or another sell option simply by clicking on add edit right so add edit uh, basically loads your uh, option chain so you can choose uh, uh, the instrument is nifty 50 here you can choose the expiry date right so the coming expiry would be uh, september 14 here you can see the option chain where you uh, directly can uh, see the OI data. So the uh, highlighted part here behind is the OI, right? So it is uh, um, with OI. So that exact highlighted uh, part is the OI for that uh, particular strike, right? So you would directly get to know where the uh, high OI is uh, present, right? So here by just simply clicking on, let's say, okay, so let's say uh, I'm really bullish on the market and I would like to buy a 19,850 call option. So I simply click on buy and the uh, quantity is added, right? And if I go uh, out of uh, the option chain, I can see that it has been added here directly. So I can uh, simply by unticking, I can, um, you can see how the uh, uh, chart, the payoff graph actually changes because it is not considered in it anymore, right? So you can use this for uh, continuously testing your strategies to figure out your best uh, um, what do you call risk management right so for example here now let me just delete this and we shall continue with the uh, buy option strategy itself so here uh, unticking and ticking we saw you can quickly toggle with uh, buy and sell right by uh, clicking on it directly you can change your expiry to 14 uh, september or the next expiry or for example here 28th september would be the monthly expiry you can change it directly right the strike price as well you can change it here by 50 points by just clicking on plus minus and again uh, the type ce or pe as well a quick toggle just by clicking on it you would be able to change it right so this is the price of uh 90,800 uh call by option which you can see here and you would uh, directly get the premium you had to pay for it right on hover of these three uh, lines here you would get the ohlc value as well uh, for that particular strike for example here it is 19800 strike you would get the ohlc value right so you can delete uh, as we saw how we deleted the 19850 you can delete uh, the strikes if you are not looking for it right similarly you can increase the lot so uh, by default it would be one lot you can surely increase the lot which in turn would uh, change your net premium your max profit your max loss and uh, other things right coming below uh, as we saw uh, a lot of strategies right which we should come to and as i did say uh, there is one uh, particular strategy in the pre-built strategies itself which we would be covering right and uh, you would have to stick a little more longer to uh, for getting to know that strategy right so yes uh, coming here for the buy call we know that uh, usually when you buy 
uh, a particular strike, the uh, max profit would be unlimited, right? If Nifty keeps going up from 19,800 to um, however high, you would continuously be profiting, right? Max loss here would be uh, 5,000. Uh, 227 that is uh, basically uh, the premium you would pay right so if if that particular strike uh, goes to zero you would lose all the uh, money right so that is uh, one more thing you would get to know your risk to reward uh, and your break even price your break even nothing but your 19900 uh, 19904.55 right coming to the payoff graph right so this is one of the most uh, interesting things in the strategy builder where you would exactly uh, um, uh, or approximately get to know how much profit or loss you can make according to the target price or the target date right for example today is 8th september and uh, on 8th september let's say uh, currently it is at uh, 90,830, right nifty's price so let's say on 8th september uh, Nifty ends at 19,950, right? Almost a hundred point up more. Let's say it moves a uh, uh, hundred points from now. Directly on hover of the chart, I would get to know that uh, the, uh, today on today's date, uh, if it reaches the target of 19,500, I would make a profit of 5,739.19, right? So that is uh, that's that's how I would understand. Okay, this would be my profit for today if if i uh, sell it um, if i sell this um, c buy of 19800 today i would make uh, approximately 5739.19 if nifty ends at 19950 right similarly even uh, for expiry date so let's say uh, i change the dark target date to expiry right that is 14 september that we saw it would uh, my profit for on expiry day if nifty ends at 19950 would be 2272.5 right so you would get to know both um, today's uh, how much profit you would make uh, by particular levels of uh, nifty as well as um, for particular dates right so similarly if i change my target date to 9th september right and if i am assuming it ends at 19900 so let's say 50 points more it increases and it reaches 19900 i would get to know that okay so um, I would make a profit of 3,333.8, right? So that's how you can keep uh, changing your target dates to see which day would be most beneficial to uh, get out of the particular strategy and make your profits, right? So similarly, uh, we also have uh, certain features for the strike price itself, right? We have a PNL table, we have a Greek table. So a lot of uh, users actually requested the Greek table directly on the strategy builder because they do trade Greeks also, right? So here you would get basically the um, uh, cumulative of all the Greeks. So let's say, for example, here I add back the yes 19850 call right so here you can see now the greeks also has changed and uh, this particular uh, strike of 19850 also has been added to the table right and similarly you have your multi strike oi as well where you get the oi oi uh, data as well as uh, direct nifty data where you can analyze the market right coming back to the graph if you look a little more closely other than uh, that on the behind you can see uh, lines drawn right that is nothing but your oi so this is this would actually help you directly understand where uh, the majority of oi is there in order to uh, build your strategy right so that is the uh, complete uh, strategy builder and you uh, not only uh, do you get an opportunity to use the 20 plus pre-built strategies according to market conditions but you can also build your own strategy like how we saw before and you can save it right for example here i've changed uh, it by adding another strike of 19850 so i can quickly just click on save right so next time when i click on load saved strategies and when i uh, use the save strategy that is nifty bullish bias strategy it would load with both these options right as long as it uh, it has not been expired so that is the a complete strategy builder right and how you can use it so we are continuously uh, also uh, upgrading it and bringing in uh, more new features to it right so for those of you who have stayed until now now i uh, would uh, present you one of the most simple as well as the most 
popular strategies right and also i would tell you how we would uh, use it with simple example right so coming to this yes so this is nothing but the uh, short strangle strategy right so this short strangle strategy is uh, most widely used when uh, you you have understood the market is a sideways market or a neutral market right so if you know that there is okay there is no um, you you have done your price action analysis and you have understood in nifty uh, we are not seeing an uptrend or a downtrend market it has been um, moving in a sideways market and i would like to actually use this as a benefit because i've understood this and make money out of it right so as this is uh, a short strangle is a selling type strategy right so you would sell uh, one call and one put out of the money right in order to uh, make sure that uh, if nifty stays between these two levels you would uh, make money so the whole idea would be limited profit and unlimited loss right that is for every option selling uh, uh strategy whatsoever so yes coming to actually implementing it right so let me just quickly um go here and we actually have it in our pre built itself right so that is the uh, short strangle so when i click on short strangle you see uh, how everything has changed right so now, uh, so before we even come to analyze the strategy you can also quickly uh, analyze nifty through the trading view chart uh, here let me just quickly click on it and you can do your price action analysis you can analyze um, using different indicators where your support where your resistance is or you can you can come to the option chain directly where you would get to know uh, support and resistance based on oi as well directly right so for example here we know the uh, support is at nineteen thousand seven hundred, and resistance is at twenty thousand. Right. So uh, let's coming coming to the strategy builder itself. Uh, we can quickly change this. Right. So this is a pre-built uh, strategy. So we can uh, customize it according to our needs. So nineteen thousand six uh, hundred. I shall quickly change it to nineteen thousand seven hundred. Right. And this is my uh, short strangle strategy now. So now I know that. Uh, after my analysis again this is an example so after my analysis i have understood okay nifty is currently moving sideways and i want to uh, make money out of this right so what i have done is i have uh, i am going to sell a 19700 call right and i will sell a 20000 uh, put so now i know the market would stay in this range right and according to the payoff graph if you see here you know you will profit as long as the market stays in this range so here you can see uh, uh, on expiry day if market uh, if if you apply this strategy today on expiry day you can profit uh, 4212.5 as long as market stays uh, between these two levels right and if market ends at 19800 on expiry day you can make a profit of 4212.5 but as soon as the market goes uh, outside this particular range of 19,700 and 20,000. For example, here, if it ends at 19,350, you can actually make a loss of minus 13,287.5, right? So one caution on this particular strategy would be that uh, you, you should not apply it on a trending market or as soon as um, the market, uh, using your analysis, you understand the market is actually turned into trending. You should make sure to quickly modify your strategy as well. So yes, uh, that is the strategy uh, of sh uh, short strangle. I know it's a very simple strategy, but a very effective strategy if you understand how the market conditions are, right? So um, yes, so thank you so much for joining and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, right before we uh, end the video so make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, this was the complete video on strategy builder and how to exactly use it what are the benefits of it and a bonus strategy as well right so as usual thank you so much for joining uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, for watching more such videos you can surely check out our complete youtube channel right so thank you and hope you have a great day